one. Good morning, our family, our second. spiritual family. And just friends. a sec. Not yet. Just a sec. <laughs> just wait. Now. Good. Good morning, good spiritual to... friends and family. Are you ready to start 2018 with a bang? Would you like some meaningful support and motivation for those New Year's resolutions? You've come to the right place. We've got your back. I'm thrilled to welcome you to the premiere episode of Spirit Sessions, A View of the Light. This is where we take spiritual practices and ideas and bring them down into our everyday lives. Today we're going to share an adaptable ceremony for your intentions and resolutions that help you make them real. And then we will receive some guidance from the Ascended Masters. I'm Teresa Warren. I started with Emily Harrison's um, Akashic Reading course, learning to read the Akashic Records just one year ago. She has been my mentor and has personally nourished my spiritual journey and put me on the amazing fast track. This is where I met my two wonderful co-hosts, Rhonda Elliott and Bex Marie. Emily then brought us the amazing coach, Nick, and together they created the Akashic Academy, the very same platform that you see us on today. I'm a certified life coach and now a certified Akashic Records practitioner, meditation tour guide, and a law of attraction wealth practitioner. You can find me in my Facebook group, Empaths on Fire, Transformational Coaching for Empaths and Lightworkers. Today, in honor of our first premiere show, we're going to give someone a free mini reading with our co-host, Bex Marie. She's got intuitive cards to share with you. How can you win this? Whomever shares it out the most. So share it out, like it up, love it up, and say hi in the comments. Before we start, I'd like us to take three deep cleansing breaths together, all of us together. You ready? Let's inhale all that good air and prana and let it out. A second one, inhale. Ooh, and let it all out. And inhale all the positivity. One more time and let's hold at the top. Oh, and let it all go. So welcome to 2018. How's it been for you so far? 2018 carries the energy of an 11 year, a year of manifestation. So numerologically speaking, this is good news because we are all supported in making our dreams come true. Would you like to know a simple yet adaptive ceremony to support your success? With honor, I would like to introduce one of my co-hosts, Rhonda Elliott. She has been a Reiki master teacher for over 16 years and is a certified practitioner of the Akashic Records. I can vouch that she is also an accomplished mother hen and cheerleader, and we would not be here without her strong and nourishing encouragement. On Facebook, you can find Rhonda Elliott at Cerulean Forest Reiki and Healing through the Akashic Records. Right now, she is going to share ways to create your own sacred intention ceremony at home for either in the house or outside. I need to know this information, Rhonda. Tell me. Tell me these ceremonies. I'd be glad to hear it. Glad to see you all here. Um, I just wanted to uh, give some shout outs because I'm at command control here. I'm not doing Yeah, I'm doing a wonderful job at command control. Um, we've got lots of people with us. Um, Emily Harrison is here with us. Say <laughs> woohoo, go for me. And uh, <laughs> For 218, shedding, uh, intense shedding of old skin has been going on for her. Yes. And uh, yay, Bexy girl. And um, we're having, um, we've got Allison Dean here and Casey Marie Dianto. And uh, there's lots of people coming in. So if everybody would like to share this out, the more shares. Um, going to give us a few seconds to share it out. Um, some of us can't share it out, so I'm going to share out for everybody. Um, I'm going to share to the pages, and um, uh, while you're going on, Teresa, can you read some more? Can you see any comments coming up there? You're going to have to scroll no. down. No, I can't no. see any today. Let no. me move my notes. Okay. Even if I move my notes, I can't see them. 
So they're all yours. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> um, well, you know, we're all new to this technology, but we are thrilled we're all three on at the same time today. And that's really been helpful, <laughs> believe me. Um, okay. So um, just share it out, everybody. Oh, hi, Christy. Glad you're here. It's lovely to see you. Um, I'm going to start and put some of these on. Now, this this week when um, we were preparing for the show, um, I came across this co quote from Carlos Castaneda. And I thought, wow, that's pretty <clears throat> synchronistic. Yes. Intent yes. is not a thought or an object or a wish. Intent is what can make a person succeed when their thoughts tell them that they are defeated. It operates in spite of a warrior's indulgence. Intent is what makes them invulnerable. Intent is what sends a shaman through a wall, through space, and to affinity. So <clears throat> that's what we're trying to do here with the sacred ceremony, is make intent, um, and we can walk through our, our walls of our um, of our vulnerability or walls through that part of us that says we're not worthy intent is that that these positive things that we say to ourselves and that's the first thing if you have a, a pen or paper you need to write your intents down that puts them into the earth and um, we suggest because there's a lot of ways you can do it you can go outside and make a bonfire and write your intents on and put them in a bonfire but at minus 29 and in the deep freeze we're in in the northeast, we decided that we should create a, um, a uh, ceremony you can do inside. So I've written my intents on little pieces of um, tissue paper. So these intents are, are easily melted into a, a, a bowl of water that we've added some light into and some essential oils. Um, then you can take that... Um, in your sacred space, you can take that those intents and melt them in the bowl of water and then water your house plants with them or even throw them outside near your trees and they'll be taken up into um, space and time. And that creates that contract with yourself. Uh, the other way is you can take a, make a little mini in, inside bonfire if you're able to. Um, um, and uh, just burn them very carefully in a fireproof bowl so they don't create too much smoke. Some people can't even do this, so that's why we came up with the water one. Um, and the third one, and Teresa came up with this, is you can write them out on bay leaves. You can write them on bay leaves like that you have in your kitchen, and you can float them away in the stream or on the ocean. And... Uh, and, and send them out into the world that way. And um, <clears throat> one thing about writing out your intents, they should be in the positive language. Like, I, I'm going to stop watching the computer all day long and being on Facebook all day long. Instead, put it like this. Like, put it like, I'm going to get out in nature and walk and connect with nature. I'm going to go be with my family and play some games. I'm going to spend that time that way every day a little more positive um another way is just like i'm going to instead of saying i'm going to stop eating candy like say i'm going to eat more fruits and vegetables make them positive doable things um so that's uh, those are the things that we have to try and do um to make our intentions not only real but just easier to keep and um I think um, when you um, are releasing these and affirming your intentions, you're giving the world notice of what you intend to do and accomplish in 218. Um, and uh, I always say, by the grace of God, namaste, everyone. Um, I'll read it just a few more. Oh, thanks, Teresa. I was just going to read a few more. William Blank is here from my, it's nice in Miami, he's telling us. Okay, uh -huh. so William, you can go out and make a fire outside. Good and job. And send us some warmth. Oh. And send us some warmth, please. Yeah. 
we're, we're, but that would be for next week's show, which is manifesting. Um, <laughs> yes. uh, yes. My capsule had one. Did you see what he said about the helium balloons? No, write the intention on that and release them. I was going to use that. In a well, I like that, but you know, I'm an environmentalist, and I don't like oh. putting helium balloons out in space because of the wildlife. I am really kind of like that way. I get it. Mm -hmm. I but get it. Uh, but you can let them go in your house. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Mike. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but that's just me. Um, uh, oh, you can sail them out on a little ship outside too, like a Viking ship. And but, the other um, idea that we yeah. talked about, about whispering it to seeds and then planting the seeds. Yes. Oh, I didn't oh, learn that. Too. And then right. watering yeah. those. Yeah. That would I be love that to one. Too. That was a good one. Yeah. And so would you all like to know which Ascended Master is going to support you this year? Start making comments down there if you would like a card pulled. Because um, next up we have our co-host, Dex Marie. And she will be drawing cards from the Ascended Master Oracle deck, giving us divinely guided advice on how to best accomplish these things this year. Bex, my friend, our friend, is an amazing intuitive card reader and healer, astral traveler, and the single mother of four. You can find her on her page, Divinely Guided Inspirations with Bex. So, Bex, would you like to pull a few cards that Rhonda can pick out? Sure. Thanks, Teresa. And thank you, Rhonda, for those beautiful and powerful tips for the sacred ceremony. I think that's going to be amazing to do. And I can't wait to hear how people uh, are able to do them and how their, their uh, experiences are. Um, I just so want, now, did oops, you go see? Ahead, sorry. Okay, go, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just waiting. To, I'm just saying Courtney's, uh, Courtney's um, joined us, too. Courtney. Courtney Gallagher from the West Hi, Coast. Hi, Courtney. And Happy Kathy birthday, Godley. Courtney. Happy birthday. Oh, yes. yes. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. I saw Emily say that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to call in the Ascended Masters to bring in any guidance um, that will best serve the highest good for this coming year as we move into this powerful 11 year of manifestation and intention. First, I just wanted to read to you um, from the book what an Ascended Master is, because sometimes I think we just need a little clarity on that so we can have an understanding of exactly who we're calling in. Ascended Masters are great spiritual teachers and healers, most of whom lived as humans upon the earth. They're powerful guides who can help you understand your life's purpose, muster the courage to make significant changes, and develop your psychic and manifestation abilities. Um, each Ascended Master has specialties such as healing, manifesting, ascension, relationships, and so forth. They come from every religion and culture. They're non-denominational. So you don't need any special training or experience to gain their help. And I think that's awesome because if you think about it, as we're all going through this ascension process, we are all the embodiment of ascended masters. So it's like just calling in our brethren to come in and help us and support us in this year, you know, and in every part of our journey. So I'm going to pull a card first for the group to see what our, uh, you know, for our show, for all of us watching, just the theme that we have for this year. So let's see what we get. Sonia's here too. And, Yay. Uh, hey, Sonia. Allison Dean. Oh, and this is the most perfect and, message. It's Jesus, oh, wow. open your heart to love. How oh, powerful nice. is that? I love that. You know that everything that we think, say, or do comes from love. When we can do that, we can truly manifest the life that we desire because everything that we want is in love. It is love. So that's a really awesome theme for this year. year this is the year of love. Absolutely. Yes. So who wants a card? We have people asking. Um, yeah. Well, I'm Give sure Sonia on. wants a card. Let's start <laughs> yeah. with Sonia. Because All right. Sonia. Yeah. Sonia. She's been uh, so baby well. angel. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, that. let's do that. Anybody else? I'm watching on my phone because I can't get them to scroll up fast enough. So uh, Dallas is here. Allison Dean would like one next. You want me to write them down? Yeah, yeah. Allison Dean would like one. Yep. All right. So Sonia's card. I'm just looking. Okay. Pronunciation on this name is a little hard, so I need to look it up. But it's teacher, and the name is Mahakoran. Mahakohan. Sorry. Ragoksi. Mahakohan Ragoksi. Okay, and that's the teacher card. And basically, 
Sonia, what that means for you is that this year is going to bring a lot of opportunities for you to teach and share your knowledge with others. And um, I really feel like you're going to be able to put yourself out in, in, in a position of, of um, opening yourself up to a bigger audience, you know, being able to share your gifts, your, your intuitive gifts and your abilities. Um, which I think considering you're going to have a baby coming, that's going to be, you're, oh. you're going to find a way that's going to inspire you. Your new baby's going to really bring you that inspiration to, um, share that. And I think that you're going to be able to do that on the, uh, you know, having a new baby front as well as on the spiritual front. You're really going to be able to connect with others and help others. Um, cause you're, you're kind of a, an old pro at this, at this mommy thing, right? So you're going to be able to give others guidance. As, as you're connecting with them, maybe in mother's groups too. Um, so definitely teachers coming up for you and being able to share your, your knowledge and your wisdom with others. And it's really going to give them so much benefit. So that's exciting. All right. So who is next? Allison Dean. Allison Dean. Okay. Ready? Those are good cards. I love those they cards. They are good cards. Yeah, very nice cards. We can do about two more, I think, and then okay. we're, we're pretty good. Allison Dean. This, Allison, this week we have a 30 minute show. We do. It's pan, which is fertility. And that could mean baby in the future. Although I'm getting really that it has to do with your creative energies and that you're really going to be um, bringing forth a project that you really have a lot of passion about. It's going to, you're planting the seeds right now for that project and it's going to blossom big time this year. You're really going to be able to find the energy to propel it into um physical form okay so that's what's coming for you this year awesome. is putting all your love awesome. and energy into your project okay so who's up next i got kathy botville is that how you say it Bot B -O -T -B -O? Kathy. kathy okay hi Tim. kathy got melchizedek and spiritual law of attraction oh boy Yay. So that's what Kathy's Yay. theme this year is going to be, working with the nice. law of attraction and knowing that your thoughts are creating reality. Wherever you put your energy is what you're going to attract back to you. So you're going to start to use that in your life, and you're going to really notice a very quick return on your energetic investment. Okay? So that's what you have for this year, which is pretty awesome. That's a really, really powerful card. So that's exciting. Yeah, it is. All right. Awesome. So do we have time for one more? We got Casey Marie, someone you know, Bex. Casey. Hi, Casey. She's actually downstairs in my living room right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Casey, you got Horace. You are seeing the situation accurately. So you need to trust your intuition, Casey. Um, you need to know that whatever it is that you see about this, allow yourself to step back and take an objective perspective and to take, you know, to, to jump into it from that place, not to be so attached to it because how you're seeing the big picture is accurate. It is what is actually going on. So when you can step back, then you can take better, more clearer action. Okay. So nice. that's hers. What, we got time for one more, ladies. And then we, we, are. we got me and a token. And it, I mean, you can win a win a reading with Bex Marie for the most oh, shares right. out. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, also, we put our contact information in the comments. So if you'd like a reading with Bex Marie or with Teresa or a healing with me, um, you can contact us on our page. Um, but please share it out, and you can win a, a free mini reading with Bex Marie. That's pretty special. Yes. Did All you right, hear so who's next? Deanna, Deanna Tobin? Yes, yes, I did. And Deanna got Serapis Bay, which is Go Now. This is literally like wow. the lighting a fire under your butt card. Um, this is a card of taking action. He is the ascended master of actual ascension. He is the one who is pushing and motivating us to go through these shifts very uh, confidently. Okay, so he's the one who is going, when you feel like you're having a little bit of trouble and you're like, I just don't have the energy for this, Serapis Bay is right there, pushing and encouraging and supporting you with every step of your ascension process and this year your ascension process is really taking off so allow yourself to kind of flow through all the shifts and energetic changes as things are falling away you're going to notice that things are coming in very quickly to replace them and they're more aligned with your soul okay what a what a great card went for intention setting yes awesome that is great do we have time for one more is that it 
What? No, we got time for one more because she's, right. she's just channeling them like <laughs> like nobody's okay. business today. My messages are always short and sweet. I say that. <laughs> I wrote down. Uh, I, right. I wrote it down. I don't know how fast it went, but it was Angelina Tomel or Tomei. Okay, Angelina. 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 Angelina got Lou, which is persistence. That means don't give up on what it is that you oh. want to have in this life. Just because Holy you're not cow. seeing it, I know, just because you're not seeing it right now in physical form does not mean that it's not coming. You just need to hold tight to your dreams. Keep them close to your heart. Don't share every bit of what you're doing because you're going to surprise people when it's happening. You know, you don't have to say, oh, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to do this. Just do it. Just do it. Just jump right in. Do everything. And then when it's all there happening, people are going to be like, wow, look what you did. Right? So be persistent. Fight for what you want. Don't allow anybody to talk you out of it. That's why we don't need to share every detail because people will be like, it's not going to happen. It's happening. So go for it. Okay? Be persistent. I love that. I love, I love your cards, Bex. I love Thank the you. pictures on them, and I love how your intuition card. floods through like that. And so we all have amazing support, don't we? And I hope that, that inspirational guidance resonated with all of you. We'd like to thank you all for watching and invite you to join us again every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Time. In our next episode, we'll be discussing manifesting and affirmations. I will do a live interactive manifestation meditation. Rhonda will do a short healing to bust up your manifestation blockages. We will also announce the winner. The winner who shares the most out will get a mini reading with Bex Marie. So share it out and, and let us know. So um, leave your comments and questions below and we'll be able to get back to them. All of our business contact is written up in the intro. Feel free to contact any one of us. The replay will remain up and you can watch it anytime. Next up on the Akashic Academy, we want you to join our friend Janelle Cameron all the way from Australia tonight at 7 Eastern Time, 4 p.m. PST. And her show is called The Cosmic Ascension Report. You don't uh, want to miss that. Yeah. What is that? Teresa, if they yes. Teresa, if they go to the Akashic Academy page, they can see all the fabulous um, programs. There's at least one Why every not? day, every week. Mm -hmm. Oh, Beautiful. can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. And... Um, I just wanted to share some more comments. Do you have some there, Teresa, you wanted to share? Because we have a bit of time. Oh, I have Emily um, going, woo-woo, Janelle, and Tig's <laughs> going, great show. Janelle says, yeah, great job. Lots of love. Thank you, Janelle. Mm -hmm. We really see? appreciate you. Um, I've got, uh, we've got the great readings coming in, and uh, a lot of them resonated with everybody. Awesome. And, uh, Teresa, what? Would you, I'm going to put you on the spot. What's your intention for this show? Because you, you're the one who came up with the brainchild of this show. What was your intention for this show? You know, you, you think that I came up with this show, but what I did was I picked two of the greatest co-hosts so that it's so easy to do this. We, we really come up together with all the ideas, and, and so it was really easy. But my intent is that, here we are, we learn and we learn and we learn. Or if you're like me, I'm reading books, I'm listening to YouTube, I'm watching Emily and everybody and everything. I want to stop just listening and learning, and I want to do it. I want to start living it and do it while I'm doing dishes. I want to be thinking of affirmations and things, you know. So my intention for the show is just to make it all doable. Let, let's get doing these things that we all know helps us. The affirmations help. Intentions help. Let's start practicing it and spread it out. That's my intention. I guess it's kind of complicated, but that's my intention. No, that's that's, that's great. That's um, awesome. Yeah, Very Bex, what intention. did you think oh. when she uh, dragged us into this? No. <laughs> uh, well, I was literally kicking and screaming because I don't do this stuff. This is so out of my comfort zone and and yes. uh, very vulnerable right now and embracing that vulnerability and um, – yeah, I am so excited to see where this goes and that we can share what we learn and what we know and, and help others and support each other and, and all connect. This is an amazing opportunity for all of us, and I'm really excited to be a part of it. So thank you, Teresa, for dragging me, kicking and screaming. <laughs> it was true. We had to do this. It, we, did. It, we needed you here. <sighs> Rhonda, our cheerleader, she knows yes. just what to do. How are she we keeps doing us motivated. Yeah. We got time for well, more I'm comments? Just uh, we've Which got some, everybody seems to, uh, we, we, 
I, I happen, I love the, the energy you three have. That's Melody Gallagher, the author, best-selling author, okay. or going to be oh, the best-selling nice. author. Yes. And, uh, we're very, we're very pleased to have everybody from coast to coast. And, uh, and Janelle's watching from Australia. World. She's, yeah. yeah, like talk about support. It's like 3 a.m. over there. So we're quite oh, happy wow. to have oh, her. Thank you. She's going to get back to her dream battles, you know, being her warrior goddess. Um, so, <laughs> yes. Yeah, before, What's your intention so, for the show, Rhonda? Um, well, I've only got I'm a few not... seconds, but I intend to learn. You guys bring me so much learning. Like, i am just been in my little Reiki bubble here for 16 years, and I didn't know half this stuff existed till I started hanging around with you bunch. So I just love learning all this stuff. Um, I guess we better wrap her up because we've got okay. about two minutes. So uh, we talk about what they can do in the meantime, which is really exciting. And they can go to the Akashic Academy mm -hmm. and uh, – Download a free copy of the Akashic Magazine. Oh, yes. The Akashic Magazine is so good. Yeah, and if you have an a iPhone, you can download it into your iPhone and put it in your iBooks and flip it like a real magazine and, or just watch it on your computer. Um, it's colorful. It's beautiful. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of practical stuff in there. Um, you'll find recipes and meditations yeah. and stuff it's to improve changing. your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great and it's beautiful. And Cara Melindy's on the front and your gorgeousness. Yes, so, yes, goddess. goddess, beautiful goddess. I'd like to uh, say thank you to my two co-hosts yes. and yes. Namaste. Thank you. And have and, a blessed uh, night. Thank you to the Ascendant yes. Masters and the Masters yes. and, and, and keep our show going and like today. <laughs> yes, it flowed. Yay. <laughs> and all our grounding stones that we've got on our feet. Um, yes. So uh, wrap her up there, sweet pea. And Until you, we, we'll uh, see you. you see us again. Go, go ahead. And that's a wrap. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Until we see you again. Emily's posting it there for us. She's posting yeah. up for the magazine. Yeah. yeah. And until you see us again, namaste. And have namaste. a blessed, mm -hmm. light-filled week. Next Sunday, 11 a.m. See us. Yes, see you there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.